right, so today isn't working out the way we planned. Uh, we wanted to go up on the Chattahoochee River WMA. It looked like Athens on a, uh, on a Saturday during the fall up there. There were cars everywhere. Every creek had cars, tons of fish, but there was also people in every single hole. So what do we do? Came over here, we grabbed our trout streams at Georgia map, all right? We tried to go right up here on the WMA, tried to go up to Low Gap Creek, which they stock, Chattahoochee River, which they stock. Too many people. So the map tells us that they also stock right here. That's what the yellow shows us. This is Spoil King Creek. Okay, so what we did is came right to the Chattahoochee National Forest sign, which shows us we're in public area. What we also know is today is Friday at lunchtime. Okay, Friday at lunchtime in spring means one thing. Everything in North Georgia has been stocked, which tells me there's fish somewhere in this creek. Come with us, we'll see if we can find them. And we'll show you exactly how we did this, just like you could. This is, a, this is a published by Georgia DNR trout map. You can get one and find place to fish just like we are. All right, so we're gonna bring you guys with us and see how good our map reading skills are. But if that map is correct, this is right where they stock. Shows only them stocking a small section of creek. And this looks like that section. And with it being Friday afternoon, it's already been stocked this week. Pretty little area. Clearly there's enough water in here for trout. Nice little waterfall. You wanna try this little hole right here? We try this hole first. All right, we came up here with this little bit of a pocket here. As you see, a lot of this water's real fast. I think these fish are gonna hold up in these pockets. So we're not running real deep. It's not, I don't know, maybe about two foot deep at the biggest. We're running some pink shrimp fireballs, size 12 egg hook. Not that far, just a split shot right above my hook. You know, I'm probably gonna end up moving this down a little bit. 18 inch leader. Like I said, we're gonna see if we can pick some of these fish out of here. I think I'm gonna go with a two egg to give it a little bigger profile and cover up that hook. Something like that. See if we can get bit. Well, it looks like they've stocked the brook trout in here. Brook and rainbow are on the list. seen we're just plowing through these fish we're right here 15 minutes and I'm only two away from my Georgia limit here so watch how easy this is right here a little bit of pink shrimp fireballs just fishing this bank right here got him just like that he's running up holy crap he's trying to go all the way upstream oh well a tree a tree is a good consolation Yep. All right, two from a limit here. Get up. All right, let's get this one to the net. Oh, we're gonna get him. The last one hit the tree. Oh, oh, I don't get in the net. Man, we may have to come film here again next time. I like this spot. 500 people up on the WMA and zero people That's here. That's a nice one, actually. Yep, and this one's closer to town, too. Folks, is an eight fish limit of brook trout caught and released. This afternoon's brief episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from North Georgia, where we did a little bit of brook trout fishing. To be honest, this was not on our list to do. You guys heard at how many people were up on the Chattahoochee WMA today, so we simply left. We grabbed out the trout streams of Georgia map, 
and look for a basically yellow highlighted spot nearby. That means they stocked those fish. Went down, pulled out the map, put it in the GPS, went right to this spot here, which is Spoil Cane Creek. You'll find it on the map. We found out that Georgia does stock this place frequently with rainbow and brook trout. Today, all we caught were brook trout. Every one of these brook trout came from about a 100 foot stretch right across from the famous Chattahoochee Natural Forest sign. And they all came on Potsky's new pink shrimp fireballs. We didn't need anything else. We didn't bring anything else from the car. And we caught and released this limit of eight Georgia brook trout and put them right back in this beautiful crystal clear mountain stream so you could come catch them.